Hello all, welcome to my channel. Today's topic for discussion is upon name of the poem is Batter My Heart which is written by John Donne. Batter My Heart is one of the beautiful religious sonnets of Donne written in a Petrarchan verse with rhyming scheme A B B A A B B A known as octave followed by the rhyme scheme C D C C D C known as sestet. I repeat Batter my heart is one of the beautiful religious sonnets. So, Batter my heart is actually a religious sonnet of Dunn, which is written in Petrarchan verse with the rhyming scheme A B B A A B B A, known as octave, followed by the rhyming scheme C D C C D C, known as sestet. The poet here is picturing an afflicted lover of the God who is hurt because he is deviated from the holy path. to the sinful path he urges god to ravish his body and make him chaste the poet prays to god in his threefold capacity as the father the son and the holy ghost to batter his heart and reshape it he is sunk in the tank of sin and method of persuasion is not to not going to work on him the poet is actually portraying to god his threefold capacity as the father the son and the holy ghost to batter his heart and reshape it he is sunk in the tank of sin and method of persuasion is not going to work on him god has knocked at him blown his breath breath through his bellows and lighted the fire of his love and mercy to purify him and reshape him but all these methods ended without attaining the end or without attaining the objective so god should overthrow the poet and bend his force to break blow and make him new and free from sin he is like an usurped town whose duty is to serve god but he is occupied by the devil he labors to let the god enter into his body but it turns out a vain effort viceroy of god that is the reason which is residing inside the poet captive and he has succumbed to the devil yet i love you says the poet and he anticipates love in return but he has engaged with god's enemy he wishes divorce to untie or break the nuptial knot and he requests go to take him with him imprison him and never never shall let him free he would be purified if god ravishes him the poem is a plea for god to enter and take over the poet's life thus saving him from the power of satan it develops through three main stages the first is that of a potter or craftsman repairing a damaged vessel and has behind it the idea of god as the creator the next two stages the next two images both explain done sinful nature by comparing him to the victim of a violent assault first in military terms and then in sexual terms in each case dun suggests that god must act in a similarly violent manner to save him by retaking the town or by ravishing the women and thus canceling the wrong marriage the literariness with which, with which these messages of assault are developed is undoubtedly dramatic but perhaps leaves the modern reader feeling uncomfortable the idea that the christian church can be seen as the bride of the christ comes from the bible but dunn's image makes christ as a ravisher not just a husband it is as if dunn feels that an image which is strong enough for other men and women is not powerful enough for him others can be wooed into salvation but dunn must be taken by force the paradox which drives the poem on is however a profound one on the one hand dun wishes to surrender himself entirely to god on the other he needs to feel that the self claimed by god is still the unique dun the poem is both a total surrender to an all powerful god and through its extraordinary verbal energy as in the very first line an assertion of dun's personality The same paradox is found in a later poem a hymn to god the father after the death of his wife in 1617 dun felt more and more under the shadow of a terrible spiritual gloom as his life drew 
near its close than devoted his talent to carve religious sonnets batter my heart is one of the products of this period of his life dunn had put the world and the sensuous life completely behind him and was probing with fierce anxiety for the right relationship with the eternal the poet is aware with his adulterated life and also with god's infinite greatness he is conscious of his sinful nature and he conveys his feelings in a language charged with sentimentality use of metaphor is extensive he compares god with thinker and himself with a pot he compares his soul with a town this town he confesses is inhabited by devils and he cannot be redeemed with ordinary mean menting so god should shatter him completely and reshape him dunn's religious and his magnificent sermons reached astounding heights of subtlety and intensity the searching of the soul and the horrified fascination with which he contemplated and realized his awful sin in batter my heart with amazing sincerity intensity and earnestness is of course not worthy in the poem the language has the same intensity with mood and experience and dunn's grand style of expressing noble thought in this poem deserves admiration hope you all understood thank you